In today's video, I want to talk to you about the fact that in life, not everybody is going to like you. And that's fine. Because if you think about it, you don't like everybody you know either, do you? And what's got me thinking about this was that last night I was thinking about my mother. And when I was growing up, one of the big things she always used to say to me was about making sure that you make a good first impression with everybody you meet. And so I did that all the time, to be honest, because I didn't really want to let my parents down. And the thing with doing that is that you end up not truly being yourself because whilst it's great to be nice around people and be everything I became what I call a people pleaser in that what I ended up doing was bending to be somebody that I wasn't what I did was adapt myself to everybody else no matter what they wanted to do and so I felt uncomfortable and not really myself when I was out with people but here's the thing what I found was it didn't make people like me anymore even though I was putting myself out to fit in with everybody else and when you think about it is that true for you too? Because there are people who've done me no wrong in my life who I, for some reason or other, I just can't take to. I think it, we've all got to face the fact that it's going to be the same for us. Not everybody's going to like us. Not everybody's going to take to us personally. But what I have found is that when you compromise yourself, it doesn't do you any good and it doesn't make you any more liked. And so I think what the way you have to be is true to yourself and be the person that you are. I think you've got to look to live your own life because otherwise you're never going to enjoy it. And worrying about how people think about you is a complete waste of time. I've talked about it before. And the point of the thing is, you don't need loads and loads and loads of good friends. What you need is to be liked by a certain amount of people who like you for who you are. That you don't have to put an act on for. And they're the people that you want in your life. You don't need to be worrying about whether people like you or not. It's just a pointless exercise. And it's one that slows you down. It makes life less comfortable for you, if truth be told. I look back over the years and there have been so many times when my lack of self-esteem, if you like, have caused me to be someone I didn't want to be. It doesn't really matter, you know, whether people like you or not. Because at the end of the day, the only person who really has to like you is you. And when you do that, you will find that more people will come around to you because you're not putting an act on and you are being yourself. And don't you think that you deserve to have a life where you can be you? I spent so many years trying to be somebody that I'm not. It never made me feel good. It never gave me the wanted friendships that I've really needed at the time because I didn't understand that the only people that matter in your life are the ones who want to be there. It can be really downheartening, I suppose, 
if you put this act on for people that you want to be friends with and you find out that they don't want to be friends with you. And that's okay. Your friends are out there. They will be out there. The people that you want in your circle, if you like, are people who like you for who you are. Those people that don't like you for who you are, well, you don't need them. You really don't. You've got to understand that some people won't see you the way you see yourself. And it could be for a whole heap of things that at the end of the day really don't matter. Your life is your life and you're not gonna get everybody to like you. It's just one of those things. But on the other hand, have you ever thought about why you don't get on with somebody? And it could be just that sometimes you're just too alike. I know people that I wanted to be friends with who really didn't get me. And there are people <laughs> that, that I haven't really got either. And when you realize that you don't have to play that game of whether anybody likes you or not, it frees you. It frees you to do the things that you want to do. And it allows you a whole different arena, if you like, to be in. What I found is that when you decide that you don't mind if people don't like you, then your life becomes a whole lot better. This life is a special one and you deserve the best life that you can have. And the only way that you're gonna do that is to live your life your way, to be the person that you want to be. And those people that don't like you, hey, that's fine. Just let them go and like somebody else. And you don't have to beat yourself up about it because at the end of the day, you're not responsible for them, just yourself. So what do you think then? What do you think of it when you feel that people don't like you? How does it make you feel? Why don't you comment down below, let me know. And we'll get to see what other people's opinions are. I just think that if people don't like you, that's okay. If you've given them no cause to not like you, that's okay. If people don't like you because you've done something to upset them, that's a different thing altogether. And so yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know how realizing that someone doesn't like you for no particular reason has affected you. Because I know it did me for a long, long time, but I'm not anymore. And if you're still with me at this stage, can you do me a favor, like the video? And if you're here for the first time, don't worry about subscribing. Check out a few more of the videos because you'll get a better idea of the kind of stuff that I talk about on this channel. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. It's an education to me as well. We'll never get around the not everybody will like us no matter how nice we are. And perhaps people don't like you because you're too nice. Who knows? Who cares? And on that note, I'll speak to you next time. And up there somewhere <laughs> will be a video for you to watch that I'm going to let YouTube choose it this time. And they'll think the video that you get to see is one that they've chosen for you. I'll see you next time.